Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be doing another unboxing and quick review. And galing na naman siya sa Samsung, guys. And this time naman, it's from the M series. So we will be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy M10. So clearly, Samsung has decided to target the budget category. And the retail price of this M10 is 6,490 pesos. And it is only available in Lazada. Kaya hindi nyo siya nakikita guys sa mga physical stores kasi online lang siya available. The Samsung Galaxy M10 Plus guys comes in two variants. Yung una is 2GB RAM and 16GB of internal storage. And that's what I have right now. And 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. So, medyo nakasad lang kasi kahit pilitin kong kunin yung 3GB of RAM kasi ano bang ma magagawa mo sa 2GB RAM right? But then again, I don't really have much choice. And actually, the M series, the M20 and M10 was released last January by this year. The M series is made for millennials. So, yun daw yung meaning ng M nila. And also, the color that I have is ocean blue. So, upon opening the box, may nakita akong libre micro SD card and 32GB siya. So, ayan, we have a free SD card. Of course, may kita ulit natin na mayroong manipis na box sa ibabaw. So, ayan yung phone natin. But before that, let's see what are inside. We have your D warranty card. And we also have the quick start guide. And of course, we have here the phone itself. But before we proceed to the phone, let's dig deeper and tignan natin yung mga accessories na kasama. We have a micro USB cable. We also have the Samsung earphones and the charging brick. Oh, and we also have here yung ating famous panundot, the SIM card ejector. So, ayan, natanggalan natin yung plastic. And by the way, the back part of the Samsung Galaxy M10 is made of polycarbonate with glossy finish. And then, first impression, we no more have the fingerprint scanner at the back compared to the M20 but we still have here a dual camera. And then also at the back part of the phone, you can see here the speaker grill sa ilalim which I really really hate. Ganito yung mga phones na nakakainis gamitin. Lalo na if day to day, ito yung phone mo everyday gusto mo manood, gusto mo mag speaker tapos nakalapat yung phone mo which really sucks, di ba? And also, the Samsung Galaxy M10 body comes with 7.7mm slim design and it comes with two colors, charcoal black and ocean blue. Definitely comfortable to use one-handed and actually, it doesn't look premium but it's pretty enough. On the left side of the phone, you can see here the SIM card tray and then on the right side of the phone naman, you can see here the volume rockers and the power button. And and then on the lower part of the phone, you can see the 3.5mm Ojo port, a micro USB port, and the microphone. We don't have again the speaker grills nasa likod po siya. Finally guys, nabuksan na natin yung phone and the setup ko na siya. And I don't remember telling you guys earlier na meron siyang face recognition. So let's test it and let's see if it is responsive. And tingnan natin kung sobrang sulit yung binayaran yung 6,500. The face recognition situation is definitely comparable to the other budget phones that I unboxed with Samsung. For example, the Samsung Galaxy A10. Pares na pares sila ng responsiveness. Hindi ganun kabilis. Hindi na naman ganun kababa. Just enough to the amount that you paid for this phone. The Samsung Galaxy M10 comes with 6.2 inch Infinity VHD Plus display. And as far as budget displays go, it's definitely a win. The colors pop beautifully guys and the viewing experience is still good enough. The Samsung Galaxy M10 has 6.22 inch HD plus LCD screen with full view screen with V notch. It has 720 by 1520 pixels. It has the Exynos 7870 Octa with 2 gig of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. It has the Android 8.1 Oreo with experience 9.5. For the main camera, it has 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel ultra wide. 
For the selfie camera, it has 5 megapixels. Lastly, it has 3,400 milliamp hour battery capacity. By the way, the Samsung Galaxy M10 again comes with the Android 8.1 Oreo. Its 2019 Android Oreo is so last year. For a phone that released this year, 2019, Android Pie is just a big letdown. Also, a quick trivia lang, the Samsung Galaxy M10 also has a dual messenger feature. Para ma-access nyo yun, guys, of course, you will go to the settings and then pupunta kayo dun sa advanced section. And then may kita nyo na yun dun, it will allow you to use multiple accounts on the same messenger or kahit anong social media via cloning. So that's a great news for the M10 kasi ako yung tipo ng tao na kailangan ko ng dalawang Facebook for some reason. Sa ako dalawa yung Facebook ko. Ewan ko yung ibang tao kung bakit kailangan. Pero, just really need it. Basta, hindi ko explain. So, overall, it's a big thumbs up for the UI. Now, for the specs and performance of the Samsung Galaxy M10. Again, it has the Exynos 7870 octa with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. I must say, so far, the performance has been impressive. Ito, minsan lang ako magkagusto sa budget phone guys kasi usually medyo nadidisappoint talaga ako. Bihirang bihira lang ako magkagusto. Like for example, the Realme and also the Realme C1 and the Oppo ATS. I was actually playing heavy games like for example the Mobile Legends. There was no noticeable lag or shutter and sobrang smooth lang ng paglalaro ko actually. But if you will run every single app of course, you will experience yung mga paglalog na sinasabi ko. Now, for the camera of the Samsung Galaxy M10, I will be flashing the photos that I took for the front and rear camera and also the hey front guys, video. Hey guys, and I'm currently using the Samsung Galaxy M10 and this is how the video looks like. Pictures came out good. It is impressive in daylight, but the camera will let you down when it comes to low light performance. There's actually too much noise, pero sa ira natin ngayon, lahat ng bagay, lahat ng pictures ini edit. So I think magagawa naman na yun ng paraan. So here are my overall thoughts with the Samsung Galaxy M10. The Samsung Galaxy M10 makes a mark with the budget phones that um, ranges from 6,000 to 7,000. But there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. The face unlock can be a bit sluggish at times. And also pala, the fingerprint. I just wished na pinalitan nila yung face recognition with the fingerprint. Mas gusto ko yun. Ewan ko kung bakit. Mas responsive kasi siya. Kahit, kahit anong phone na yung na-unbox na to. Dagyan ko lang review guys. I still do prefer the fingerprint scanner. Actually, it can be a great first phone sa mga anak nyo or like sa mga nanonood ngayon na may anak and then wala pang phone. This can be their starter actually. Definitely though 720p lang siya, it's a good phone to watch YouTube videos. To me, the Samsung Galaxy M10 is competitive enough naman to compete with other budget phones that was released this year 2019. For today's video, sana marami kayo natutunan sa unboxing and quick review natin. Of course, if you did enjoy, give this video a thumbs up. And do subscribe because kung hindi ka pa subscribe and dami nyong namimiss na videos ko. Bye guys and see you on my next unboxing.